I would like to acknowledge that this video is being filmed on the traditional lands of the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. I pay my respects to their elders past and present, and extend that respect to any Aboriginal, Torres Strait Islander or First Nations people who may be watching this video today. Hi guys, it's Steph here. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I saw this video on Heather's channel and she got the inspiration from Mara, so I'll leave them linked both down below. This is going to be my top 50 books video, with the preface that this is kind of my current top 50 with, you know, the knowledge that generally my book tastes change over time. And I think for this particular list, I'm really including books going back about 20 years of my reading history. 20 years? Yeah, actually, I think that's probably about it because I think the one of the books on here is a book that I read when I was in my mid-teens. So it's about 20 years worth of my reading history. These are books that I would 100% reread at any given point in time. They are things that had a profound impact on me. They may not necessarily be the most politically correct titles out there anymore, depending on their age. And I think that's to be expected as times move on. But there is always a sense of nostalgia around some of these books. So as an adult, as someone who is constantly learning and growing, I can acknowledge where the flaws in these books are now compared to some of the more recent releases that I'm reading. But I don't think that you have to completely discount books just because they were written, you know, so many years ago. Anyway, that's a very long-winded intro. All I'm going to do is pop the covers up on the screen and read the titles. I'm not going to go into huge descriptions, otherwise we'd be here for ages. The books are in no particular order. And I've done that deliberately because I really dislike ranking books. Depending on how I'm feeling, different books will always be sort of in the top five, top ten. And I wanted this more to be a sample of the things that I love and have loved. There is a mixture in here of science fiction, urban fantasy and fantasy and romance amongst other things. And it was actually kind of a challenge to go back and list 50 books. So I had to use a lot of my notes. I had to spend a bit of time looking at my bookshelves and then also thinking back because some of the books that I do really love, I don't actually own or I owned many years ago. So it's been an experience and I hope you find it interesting. And maybe, you know, in a year or two, if I'm still on YouTube, it will be something to revisit and to update. So without further ado, I'm gonna to cut to the 50 books. Thank you very much for watching the video and feel free to leave any of your favorites down below if you've enjoyed any of these. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone. Caressed by Ice by Nalini Singh. Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett. Heart Song by TJ Clune. The Tea Dragon Society by Kay O'Neill. Northern Lights by Philip Pullman. Skullduggery Pleasant by Derek Landy. Law Olympus by Rachel Smythe. Leviathan Wakes by James S. A. Corey. Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton. The Lost World by Michael Crichton. Wishful Drinking by Carrie Fisher. Magic Rises by Alona Andrews. Magic Triumphs by Alona Andrews. The Martian by Andy Weir. Vicious by B.E. Schwab, The Headmaster by Tiffany Rice, Stories of Your Life and Others by Ted Chang, The Hating Game by Sally Thorne, Talking to My Country by Stan Grant, American Queen by Sierra Simone, Managed by Kristen Callahan, Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Sean and Maguire, Peter Darling by Austin Chant, Terra Nullius by Claire G. Coleman Sinner by Sierra Simone The Lost Man by Jane Harper For Real by Alexis Hall The Bones Beneath My Skin by TJ Clune Well Met by Jen DeLuca The Heart Principle by Helen Huang Actor A. G. Brown by Talia Hibbert Rosalind Palmer Takes the Cake by Alexis Hall Sink or Swim by Maz Maddox. Hook, Line and Sinker by Tessa Bailey. Not My Type by Evie Mitchell. The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. The Screaming Staircase by Jonathan Stroud. Heart of Obsidian by Nalini Singh. 
Words in Deep Blue by Kath Crowley The Diviners by Libba Bray The Dry by Jane Harper All Systems Read by Martha Wells Growing Up Aboriginal in Australia, edited by Nita Heiss Ice Station by Matthew Riley Sleeping Giants by Sylvain Nouvelle The Astonishing Colour of After by Emily XR Pan The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. The Naming of Tishkin Silk by Glenda Millard. The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers.